Statistics and Excel, correlation baseball statistics. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our crunching numbers is my cardio product line. Now, I'm not saying that subscribing to this channel, crunching numbers with us, will make you thin, fit, and healthy or anything. However, it does seem like it worked for her. Just saying. So, you know, subscribe, hit the bell thing, and buy some merchandise. So you can make the world a better place by sharing your accounting instruction exercise routine. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, there's three tabs down below. Example, practice blank. Example, in essence, answer key. A practice tab, having pre-formatted cells so you can get to the heart of the practice problem. The blank tab, blank worksheet sheet so we can practice formatting these cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem. Let's go to the example tab to get an idea of what we will be doing, where we will be going. We're looking at correlation once again when we're thinking about two different data sets to see if there's a mathematical relationship between them. Are they moving together in some way, shape, or form? In other words, if there is a mathematical relationship, the next logical question would be, is there a cause and effect relationship? If there is a cause and effect relationship, the next logical question would be, what's the causal factor? in that relationship. This time we're gonna be pulling baseball statistics data and we'll compare a couple things from it. We'll trim down our data set uh, to start off with and then we're gonna be looking at the age versus the batting average doing our correlations calculations from that data set and then we'll do another one looking at the correlation between the batting average and the RBI. So let's go back to the left. Let's go to the blank tab. We're gonna pull our data set. I'm just gonna look up baseball statistics and I find baseball statistics at uh, baseball reference has some information for us. I'm looking at the batting averages for 2022 and I'm gonna see what they have for us down here. So they have it by team. I don't want it by team, I want it by player. So I'm gonna go to the stats by player. And then in this drop down, they say we can drop it down and pull this in. I don't want to pick the Excel workbook because it gets limited to 500 lines and we want all the lines. So I'm going to make it into a CSV format and it gives our CSV information down below, which is a comma delimited format. And then I could just copy all this and I should be able to just copy and paste this into our Excel worksheet, hopefully without giving us a virus or anything. This is should um trusting the site here it's gonna it's gonna be just good good data it's just good data right here we're gonna copy this whole thing i'm gonna put this over in our worksheet in a1 right click and, and paste, paste it. it let's, let's paste, paste it, it. Yeah, either, either way is fine. fine i'm gonna hold control scroll down notice it's all in column one here and it's a mess but i want to i want to uh, transfer it from a comma delimited data to uh, a table. So to do that, I'm just going to keep that first column highlighted because everything is in the first column. We're going to go to our data up top and we want to go to the data tools and then text to columns tool. Text to columns. I'm going to say it's going to be delimited, uh, delimited charter such as commas. Let's keep that. And then I want to delimit it with a comma. That's the delimiting factor, not, not the tabs. And then down here, you can see it's spacing it out like it looks like it should be. So I'm going to say OK. And then finish it. Finish it. And so there we have it. Now I'm going to call this our data tab. And I'm actually going to make a separate data tab from the, the one that we're going to be working in because we might need to do a little bit more cleaning up of the data from this tab. So I'm going to double click down here and call it the data 
blank tab. And uh, so there we have that. And so that looks good. The headers, maybe I'll go up top and make this the header column by going into the home tab, font and insert. And if I go all the way to the bottom by hitting control shift down, let's do it over here, control shift down. Then this last row, they give me a total. I don't really want the total down here. I don't think I did this last time and I kept the totals in there, which wasn't what I wanted to do. Let's delete the totals down here. And so we just have the data. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back up top and we're gonna say, let's insert a table, insert tables. And I'm just gonna insert the table here. And so there is our information. So we've got the name, we've got the age and so on and so forth. So what I wanna think about is, is the batting average. That's gonna be how many times people get on base in essence, or what's the, what's the, uh, what's the percentage of times that they get on base. And let's see if there's a correlation between that and their age over here. So let's pick those two up. So I'm gonna pick up, let's add another tab down here, clicking on the plus button. I'm gonna double click on the tab and call it a blank tab. And then I'll just pull in my data and we'll pull it into this blank tab. So I'm gonna go back to our data tab. I'm gonna select the entire column uh, of B, which has our names, the entire column of C, which has the ages, and then over here with the batting averages over here, we're gonna copy that, all that, copy that. And let's go on over to our blank tab and just paste it on down in column A. We're just gonna paste it on down. I think we could just paste it normal and it'll give us our formatting, that's fine. I'm gonna hold control and scroll up. So there is our data. Now I'm gonna format the entire worksheet first and then I'll go back into here noting that these are decimals and these have no decimals so I'm going to format the entire worksheet and then reformat these two columns to an, an, an appropriate formatting so I'm going to select the entire worksheet I'm going to right click on it and we're going to say that uh, let's format the cells and I like to make it uh, currency negative numbers bracketed no dollar sign I'm going to remove the decimals and then add them back as needed removing the decimals okay and then i'll add the decimals back to this column because we need them in here clearly because that's what the batting average is represented as in this data set so home tab number group adding some decimals decimalizing it i'm also going to make the entire thing bold because we like to work we like to be uh work in in the bold okay because it, it's better for the screencast you don't have to do that if you don't want to so then let's go ahead and uh, do some of our, our statistical calculations, which we know by heart at this point in time with our actual data. But before we do, let's clean up our data a little bit. Let's go to the insert tab up top. Let's go to the tables and add a table. I'm gonna put a table around this whole thing. Now note that when we look at this data, the batting average has some blank stuff in it. And also if people didn't have that many at bats, then you might want to remove the batting averages for those items as well. So I might sort this now by the batting average and I'm going to say uh, A to Z and then everything with a zero in it, I could probably just zero that out or, or I'm going to remove that. I, I don't think that's going to be useful to our data set. And this is where, this is where uh, tailoring your data set to try to get the most relevant data is useful. Or, or is applicable, right? We gotta say, should it, does it make sense to keep that in or should we pull it out? How should we pull it out? Should we base it on how many at-bats they had and so on? I'm just gonna take all of these rows down to all of the zeros for sure, remove them. 0 0.5, let's take, it, let's take it up to like 0 0.059. Everything above that we will keep and assume is legitimate data. So we're gonna right click and I'm gonna delete all of that stuff. And then if I sort the batting average from Z to A, if we have these really large batting averages, that would probably indicate that they didn't have uh, a lot of that bats possibly because that would be a quite a substantial batting average. So I'm gonna say, let's just remove at least this top one, maybe these two, I'm gonna remove these two. And, and these are somewhat subjective 
as to whether we should remove those or not, right? Because you have to, so that, but that's it. Now, so now we got the batting averages, which are the heart of the data. And I'm gonna say, let's pick that up then and use it to our, do our statistical analysis on. So we've done this before. We're gonna, we're gonna make a skinny D. We could do this with our eyes closed. We could do it with our, even if some jerk tied our eyelashes to our nose hairs, forcing our eyes closed and to be watered at the same time, we could still do this at this point. So let's, let's say that we're gonna pull in the data. Let's make this age and the batting average. I'll make this black and white for the header, home tab, font group, uh, black and white for the headers. Let's center it, alignment and center. Our normal calculations, this is gonna be the mean, the standard D, and let's pull this in a bit. We don't need it to be that large. And then I'm just gonna do the average equals the average age of the baseball players. Control shift down and 28. So not, not I'm not gonna be in there unless I'm, I'm that crazy phenomenon that could, and I'm gonna copy that to the right and let's do the batting average. Let's go to the home tab, numbers decimalize it. Let's put three decimals and there's the average batting average. 0.2, so we percentize that 22%. So remember when we're talking about baseball, it's the likelihood of actually getting on base is not that high uh, is, is the general the general thing, right? 22% is the average. So then we're gonna say, according to this statistic, which we basically, you can see how we trimmed the data that we have over here, which might be a different way of trimming the data than some other stats that you might uh, take take a look at which might use different techniques uh, but that's what we'll go with now standard deviation equals the standard d we want for the sample this time and i'm going to pick up the age control shift down as we've seen before enter and there is there's that for let's decimalize it home tab number group decimalize copying it to the right fill handle dragging it to the right and so there we have the standard D here, home tab number. Let's add a couple more decimals on that one. All right, so then we could say, well, what does this data look like in terms of a histogram? Let's, let's check that out. Let's take the ages and say, uh, insert chart and make a histogram of this. And so there's our age histogram. I should have I put it, let's delete that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to the top and then insert it so I don't have to drag it up. Chart, insert, histogram. All right, so this is our age histogram, age histogram. And so we've got people, you know, in, it looks like it's kind of, you know, somewhat bell-shaped, not, you know, you got the people at the middle part is the higher point and then it tapers off, although you've got this peak at 24 to 25 and then this other peak at uh, t 28 to 29 and then you go way out here and I'm past uh, I'm would be an outlier out there but I'd still if I if I wanted to I could do it I could do it right here right now if I, I just don't want to if I did I would do it but it's stupid because I don't need it I don't need to do that anyway I'm gonna say control shift down on the batting average and uh, notice I have some blank data down here still. I thought we removed all of the blank data. Let's go back up top and let's redo this. Let's fix that. Batting average, I'm sorting by batting average. Oh, I, I deleted the low one. So let's go, let's go down and delete all of that and do this again. Control shift down. Everything below here I'm gonna delete. So I'm gonna delete the blanks. If they have no batting average, we don't even want you here. You didn't make the team. What are you even doing on the team if you don't have a batting average? Get out of here. Let's do it again. Let's do the mean again equals the average, making sure we pick up the right data. Copy that to the right, decimalize it. And then the standard D, let's do that again, equals the standard D. Go back to the minors, man. Go back to the minors. Oh, that's mean. Whatever. It's how it is when you're in the big leagues. I f you can't hack it. Home tab, we're gonna say, okay. So <laughs> so then let's do our, our, our age again. Let's do this age again thing. Now that we have our this data, 
and insert charts histogram so there we have it all right so this is our age okay and then let's do one for the batting average control shift down control backspace and insert charts histogram boom oh no i did that again let's pull it down and this is going to be the batting average ba and so again it looks kind of like it's bell shape it's tapering off we've got these outliers that maybe we should have trimmed off uh over here and that middle point being being around uh the mean so so that doesn't necessarily give us an indication that there's any any kind of uh correlation but it might give us some ideas sometimes about our hypotheses about the data so now let's let's do our let's take this and take our formula for the correlation calculation i'm going to make a, a large h and we'll say this is going to be smaller here oh now i'm moving it that's not what i wanted to do make a smaller one here and then let's make a smaller one here okay and then we'll pull this into the large h all right so it's still probably quite large i don't think it need, anyways that's okay so then let's take our data and do our calculation for the age and the batting average i'm just going to take those two and paste that over here and so there we have it let's make our header tab this way go into the home tab font group header black white center it and then let's insert column j let's insert something between column j right click and insert and then we're going to say this is going to be the z of age z of age and so we'll do our z score this is going to be equal to brackets the 24 minus the 28 i'm going to say f4 on the keyboard and then close that thing up and then divide it by the standard d f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the letter and number and enter then decimalizing it home tab number group decimalize double click in the fill handle to drop it down let's do it again over here for the z of the ba batting average format paint the header cell home tab clipboard format painter for the z of the batting average doing the z score once again equaling the batting average data let's, well we need a bracket bracket and then the batting average data minus the mean f4 on the keyboard making an absolute dollar sign before the letter and number closing up the brackets and dividing by the standard d which is the point oh five 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 and then we want an f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the g and the three and enter let's decimalize it home tab number group decimalize to recognize and then double click on the fill handle to drop it on down let's make it a little skinnier from i to l because it's ill it needs to be sick this is sick man it's ill all right so we're gonna close it up like that is that good or bad i don't know it's ill man it's ill all right let's do then the next one is going to be the z uh, age times times the z of the ba and let's do this formatting home tab font group black white let's wrap the text this time and center it so now we're multiplying these together so we took the the x minus the mean over the standard d the y minus the mean over the standard d which is the age and the batting average now we're multiplying them together this is going to be the, the z of the age times the z of the ba or batting average let's decimalize to recognize and then double click in the fill handle to drop it down dropping it down all right and then we'll do so now we've got we just need to sum it up to get that numerator so we'll close up let's make the n a little bit thin and then we're going to say this is going to be the r or cor correlation i think i spelled it right this time this is the last problem i believe and the spelling home tab font group has been done i can learn 
I learned stuff. Sum of the z of h times the z of the b a. Tab, tab, putting it in the outer column, summing it up equals the s u m. Shift nine and picking up our last column, control shift down and enter. Let's uh, decimalize it to recognize it a little bit better. Home tab number, if you want to recognize it better, you need some of those, you need to reveal the decimals. Otherwise, you don't even know who they are. I don't even know who you are, some column. Then we're gonna do the denominator, N minus one subcategory calculation. We're gonna say N, just N, just N. Don't try to help me out, Excel. Less one, you're not helping, you're not helping. Excel. I don't care if you're trying to help. Trying to help. I'm going to say, let's say, let's select these two. My house can't be rebuilt with good intentions. Excel, you've, you're messing it up. Home tab, alignment, space. This is going to be the count. So we're going to count the number of uh, rows we have equals the count. I can count any one of these. Let's just pick the first one, control shift down and enter. So we have 815 columns of data, less one, according to the numerator in our formulae, equals one, 815 minus the one, 814. Let's put an underline under here, home tab, font group, underline. And let's say this is gonna be the R or correlation. So the correlation is going to be equal to the numerator up top now in the outer column divided by the denominator. It's zero. Let's go to the home tab number and decimalize to recognize. So 0 0.05. So not the largest of correlations there. <laughs> we could also plot this out. We could plot this thing out and say, uh, all right, what if I plot it out then? Check it out that way. Let's do this. Two data sets. Control shift down and say that we're gonna say uh, control backspace and insert charts scatter plot and check it out that way. So now you've got, let's put the labels on it, plus button, axis labels. It's gonna pick up by default, the one on the left being the X. So I'm gonna say this equals the age and then this one over here is going to be equal to the BA or batting average. So, you know, usually we would be thinking this would be the independent variable. So you can question if that is the case. As the age goes up, what you would kind of think possibly the batting averages would go down. Except maybe as the age goes up, they're able to consume more, more drugs or something. And so maybe they get more yoked up as they get old. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just guessing here, but let's just see what the data says in terms of the correlation line, the trend line. Let's put that one in place. You don't see much action happening there, not a very high degree of correlation at all. Uh, if we tied it, if we could know how much, uh, how much juice they were taking, that would probably give us <laughs> a better line. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Let's go to the first tab. We're gonna say, let's hit the, let's hit the drop down here and make it a straight line. Let's make it orange. And so we have a bit of a bit of a, you know a negative trend, but nothing that's looking absolutely telling. Now I'm gonna pull this to the right and say, well, what if obviously if you were to to make assumptions about this data, you'd probably be saying, well, if the age goes up, their batting average would go down. That would be the hypothesis that you would most likely be making, making the age the dependent or the independent factor and the batting average dependent. It would look fun, so, but you could think about it the other way. Let's reverse this chart just to, just to do it. So I'm gonna go back to this tab and select the same data, control shift down and control backspace and then insert charts, scatter plot. And this time, I want to change the axes. So let's add an axis, axis title, but this time I want to make the X equal to the batting average, as if it's the driving factor that is going to be correlating to the age. 
So and and so sometimes you don't know which is which, and you could plot it either way. You're still going to get the same kind of correlation direction, negative correlation in this case. But I need to flip the data around then to do that. So I'm going to go to the charts. I'm going to go to the select data up top, pick our data here and edit it. And then this X factor, I'm going to delete it, needs to be, I want to make that the BA data. Control shift down, control backspace, and there it is. Make sure, and then on the Y, I'm going to delete this data and make this equal to the Y data. Control shift down, control backspace, and boom. So there we have that one, and okay, okay. So there's that scatter, scatter. If I add the trend line in that one, I still get that slightly downward sloping uh, trend line. If I then take a look at the options and, and format it, we're gonna go to the bucket up top, make it a straight line and orange for the buckets or orange, make it orange. That's the format that, that we like to see the line in. All right. Okay, so then we've got that. And so then I can let, let's let Excel do the correlation calculation and see if it gets to the same uh, 0.05 that we got to here. So let's try that. So let's go, let's go to the in, to the data tab to our analysis. If you don't have that analysis, it's in the file tab. It's in the options. It's in the the add-ins and then it's in the add-ins down here and then you go to that and then you click off the tool pack if you want to be part of the cool cats all right so then we're going to go up to the data analysis and we're going to say this is going to be the correlation of okay let's go into it first hit in the tab which where's the data set we want to go to we want this data set the age and the batting average control shift down control backspace going back up top we picked up the row for the column so we want the labels on the first row where do we want to put it on our worksheet we want to put it right there and so we'll say okay and so there it is so it looks like we've coming up with the same correlation let's add some decimals to better recognize and so there we come up with the same correlation mui b to the n let's make a skinny let's make this black and white home tab font group black white there there that is now we can also do our our standard statistics on this one just to practice that for the fun of it with our data data tab analysis data, data analysis. analysis we want the descriptive statistics and then we'll pick up the data inputs here control shift down control backspace we want to pick up the labels output range is over here we want to put it over here somewhere right there and then i'm going to get the summary statistics and possibly the confidence at 95 and okay so that spits out our general data here it's not dynamic it's hard coded in other words but there it is let's format this i'm going to format this and say let's go to the home tab black white i'm going to make a skinny v i'm going to make all this blue and bordered and then next time we'll pick some other stuff and see if we can get a higher correlation so i'm going to go to the home tab font group bucket drop down not black but that blue if you don't have that blue i use standard blue right there and border it as well border blue and then I'll make this border blue and then I'll make this border blue and then I'll make this whole thing control shift down border blue and then I'll make this border blue and then I'll make even this border blue control shift down border blue we'll make the same skinny columns too but I'll wait to do that next time uh, as we pick some other data sets again and try to see if we can find a higher correlation between them.